Before proceeding towards the video, first try to understand that what is the actual error or problem that I will be resolving in this video. If you have configured your account on Microsoft Outlook to play with your emails, your account might be from any domain like Gmail, Yahoo or any other domain. Most of the time it happens that you receive an email with few links to download the data from cloud storage. But, problem occurs when you try to open that email. Each time you try to open, reply or forward that email, a pop-up message appears, saying, contacting the server for information. Sometimes this pop-up message takes too much time to disappear. And, in many cases, the outlook gets stuck or freeze. Why does this happen? Actually there are many reasons behind this problem. Let's explain each of them precisely. First reason is that, there might be data with big size on the cloud behind these links, so what Outlook does? It might try to download the data first by accessing the links before opening, replying or forwarding that email. If the data on the cloud is of large size, then obviously it might take time depending on the data size. In that case we need to change the Outlook settings, so that Outlook will not try to access and download the data behind these links before opening, replying or forwarding that email. Second reason is that, if the data behind these link have been deleted. In that case, it will take too much time, because Outlook will retry again and again to access the data, but since the data has been deleted, so the pop-up message will appear for long time or even Outlook might get stuck or freeze. Third reason is that, the domain that you received email with links from, might have been blacklisted by your own mail server for some security reasons. Fourth reason is that, the domain that you received email from, might have bad reputation among mail servers, in that case, even if the Outlook is trying to access the links but your mail server will not allow to access that domain having bad reputation. Fifth reason is that, you might need some changes in the registry settings. But when I got into this problem, I resolved this issue without making any changes in the registry. You will find the solution in this video. Sixth reason is that, the email that you received might have corrupted during traveling from sender's domain to your domain. So ask the sender to resend that email again. I, myself went through the same problem, and, upon resending the email, I found that the previous email, which I received, was corrupt. Without further wasting time, let's start the video. To open Outlook, click on the Start button or type, Outlook, in the search bar and click on the Outlook application to open it. The first email that I received has few links to download the images or other data. You can also see the envelope sign which shows that this email contains some links to download the data from cloud or remote location. If I click on this email to open it, the pop-up message appears, saying, contacting the server for information. This is a pop-up message that I was telling you about. Now why this pop-up message appears? Because, Outlook is trying to access the links and download the data behind these links which resides on the cloud or some remote location. So it will take time depending on the data size residing on the remote location. Now wait for this message to disappear. Let me remind you once again, that if this pop-up message takes too long and doesn't disappear, or the Outlook gets freezes, then it might be possible that, the data have been deleted from the cloud or remote location, or the links are not allowed to access by your mail server for security reasons. The domain, that these links belong to, might have bad reputation, hence your server might not allow to access that domain. Let's close the Outlook and reopen it again to check either the same pop-up message appears again or not. Click again on the same email to open it. If the message doesn't appear for the first time then navigate in your Outlook folders like Inbox, Send Items, Deleted Items etc. And then come back and click on the same email to open it. As you can see I am navigating to some other folders or emails and then when I come back and click on the same email to open it, 
the same message appears. Sorry for hiding the links and other information. Actually this email contains some official data. So, to overcome this problem, click on the file, and then click on the options on the bottom. Outlook options will be displayed in front of you. Now go to the Trust Center. Then click on the Trust Center button. As you can see, that all the options in the Trust Center settings have been unchecked. I just made these settings myself to show you that why this pop-up message appears. If these options are unchecked, then the Outlook will automatically try to access and download the data from those links. So all I need to do is, to check all the options here and click OK button. Then again click on OK button. Now Outlook settings has been completed. Hence it won't download any images or data automatically before opening the email. Now after making these changes, let's close the Outlook and reopen it to check the pop-up message. As you can see, that this time the pop-up message doesn't appear. And if you see the notification message, it says, click here to download pictures. Means, it won't download any images or data from the remote location or cloud. Until and unless we manually click on this notification bar and download all the data manually. I always share the problems and their solutions with you guys, which I get into myself. Thinking that it might help someone. Note. Once again if these settings didn't work then possibility is there that the received email might be corrupt. So request the sender to resend that email again. That's it. If you like my video, then kindly like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks.